So we, we are born again now. Yeah. So what's the what's the point? Yeah. Yeah, what's the point of what's being the point? born again? I've also been waiting someone to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean there are days where <laughs> we're like, why are we saved? You know like when you're in a queue and people are breaking all the rules mm -hmm. and if it wasn't for God in you, you're like, why are we saved again? <laughs> Yeah, you're like, why, why are we saved again? But anyway, uh, why are we saved? When we are saved, God gives us a better assignment. And it's, that's why it's important to grow in faith. Initially, we are just happy to go to heaven. We are not going to hell. And we, our sermons sound like that when we are preaching to people. Better get saved or you go to hell. God was not really just about hell. He was much more than hell is like... We're giving the devil too much credit, you know, it's yeah. like we keep focusing on the dustbin, you know. You better make yourself useful or you're going to the dustbin. No, let's focus on what's, what's useful about salvation. Life more abundantly, the Lord called it. What did he mean by life more abundantly? That when you have joy, it is, you will light up a room by just walking into a room. You wipe away people's tears the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to do what that was purpose that the lord was saying the purpose was to set the captives free to announce the day of liberty and that is something that is not tangible something that is far beyond that's why you'll have a very poor man born again spirit filled but he's more happy than one who has what we think makes life and that's that's what god is presenting that true riches true wealth true goodness true joy only comes from me only comes from me and the more we allow him to purge our bodies to get that sin out to get that lifestyle out the more closer we come to a life of freedom one time the lord said to me that you know and I was in a place where I was struggling with just friendships, usual things. No, they were not usual. That was really tough. But <laughs> you know where you've given yourself to people so much and then you feel like they're not, they're not reciprocating or they're taking it for granted. And, and then the pain begins to set in and you're wrestling with this bitterness. And the Lord said to me something that really set me free that day. He said, you know, of all these people, I am the only one who died for you. And that sorted it out. I was like, why are we worrying about all these ones? <laughs> Me and the Lord are good. Let's go. So that it puts your life in perspective when you know what matters. That's why when he says that every tree that my father has not planted, every tree that... So there are trees in your life that God has not planted. But he's trying to tell you that there are assignments in your life. Today it might just be doing this interview. Tomorrow it might just be helping Shosho cross the road. And in God's books, this is a day well lived. But you, you've done Biombo, you've done Shu, you've done, you've put other things on top of that. So what is the purpose of your life? That's another topic anyway. But the purpose of your life now finds meaning in God. Because in, um, there's a scripture I, I read this morning that I thought would be good to Romans chapter no J John chapter 5 verse 30 I can of my own of my own self do some, nothing that was the Lord saying that I can do nothing of myself I hear and I judge and that judgment is just that judgment that I give is just because it's not of my own mm -hmm. what is the Lord saying is that because his life is being lived on behalf of another mm -hmm. it's pure and that's what salvation is about to give you a purpose beyond you the judgment the Lord was giving is not his own he doesn't speak of his own so the Lord Jesus speaks of the Father and the Spirit speaks of Christ the Spirit doesn't speak of Himself, the Bible says. They don't elevate themselves the way we blow our own trumpets. 
So in salvation, we find that place where our lives are not our own. To him we belong, you know the song. I give myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's the meaning of the life of God. To show you another way that's higher, where the servant is greater than the master. When he's washing their feet, he's showing them. Peter is trying to say, you cannot wash my feet, you cannot wash my feet. Why? Because that's a certain lifestyle. But the Lord is saying, no, the way of the kingdom is this way. And that's what the salvation is about. To see our lives beyond ourselves. Because in losing ourselves, we gain more. We gain more. So God is not bent on taking life out of you. God is bent in putting more life in you. If you're not born again, you're on the side of life that is less, less helpful to you. God has another way. I'll show you a way that is better. So there's a way that seems right to you, but in the end, it doesn't give you life. 